<laughs> I love this intro. I always listen to it. So, oh, I, I just, uh, I just talked the game. Oops, too charming. Uh, I love this intro. It's, it, it like tells the premise of the game so well. This, uh, this is a very silly game. It's very cartoony, but I, I also like. Similarly to old cartoons, it also has a, a bit of like grimness to it. It's a little bit spooky with like demons and stuff. I remember when this was new, my cousin was like, look at this new game, it looks like a cartoon. He probably like thought I would like it, which I, I did. Nice run, boys. <laughs> Left a newcomer. Just the devil, you know, J just the devil. It's just a, just a guy. I like how Mugman is the voice of reason. You, you'll see very like small glimpses of personality on Carpe the Mugman in this game. But you can really like get what kinds of characters they are, just you know, from the visual gags and uh, what they do in the story. They they can actually talk, but you know, it's it's like very silly cartoon talk. So yeah, they're they're in trouble. They're gonna have their souls taken out. And they're gonna go to hell before they die. Look, this the, the famous uh, like journalist trap. Here's the parry. I don't know why they call it a parry because you're not like, I guess you dodge some of some of the pink stuff but otherwise it's just like a, a little i don't know you cancel a projectile i wouldn't call it a parry before the dlc was out i really thought that like what what would unlock the dlc would be that these trees would be gone like i don't know the x guy comes here and chops it up and then you go on that boat and you go to the dlc island but uh, no the dlc island island is in a different spot running jumping shooting <laughs> His bag is uh, pink. I, I, I have to parry it, parry it. Look at this guy. I, I love this guy. He's he, he's a married man. Look, he, he has like a wife on the on the corner, and like he sells a but he sells guns in the background. I never like he has knives. I never stopped to look at this. I like this guy. I, I'll shit all over the Cuphead cartoon for in the, like for the duration of this. But uh, they treat Parkrind really poorly in the show. He's like. It's basically the Squidward where like Cuphead and Mugman torment him and like get away with it. But I feel like the game version of Parkrind, he wouldn't let anybody like get away with messing with him. It seems like he would kill you if you like tried doing shit to him. Because he's like a shady dealer, like a, a, a weird morally gray arms dealer, which he, he still is in the show. But uh, he, he doesn't seem like the Squidward type that would like you know, suffer. I don't know. So yeah, I'm, I'm fairly okay at this game. I'm not like expert on anything, but uh, I can like pull my weight. So it's very precise, very good. The challenge is very fair. Even though like a lot of this game is kind of like, they seem like they kind of were like winging it in, in designing the, the bosses because you know, they're, they can basically do anything because they're cartoony creatures. So like a bunch of the mechanics are just like the bosses pulling random shit of, out of nowhere. It's kind of kind of funny way to design. Is the whole game? Oh, is the whole game cell animated? I'm pretty sure it is. They like you know scan the drawings and, and like frame by frame like uh, put put it all in the game. It probably well probably it definitely was very like arduous arduous to do uh, it's game took a very long time to come out and the dlc was also like delayed by a lot yay bravo <laughs> whoa that was loud this game has lots of weird little jank things because even though the animation is like pretty much flawless uh the like programming of the game like sometimes sometimes it fails i like the music here <laughs> the ghouls are out tonight <laughs> so whimsical what a whimsical game. Yeah, this uh, this is the quote-unquote parry challenge of the game. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not much of a challenge, really. <laughs> but uh, the music here is silly, and the, the parry is, like, a satisfying move to do. And this also, like, teaches you about it, about it in the early game, I guess. You know, to beginners. Gosh, I don't know how to thank you boys for saving me. I like how her voice is actually, like, a, a little... Yeah, it's like uh, that old phone, uh, talking on the phone sound effect in all the cartoons. She's so useless in the main game. She also... The redesign that they did to her within the, the like game and the DLC is also weird. I guess she's young in that because she's like basically taking Cuphead and Mugman's place in the universe and they're like children. So does this mean that if she like switches places with a... Uh, like what's his name elder cattle will she will she be like a grandma 
I really want to know that. I want to know the lore. Huh? Right. Dear me. <laughs> Everyone tells you to equip stuff. It's like the only thing that they ever talk about. No, I like the, the like baby chalice redesign. It's cute, but it's so weird. She's like old <laughs> in the in the normal game. I like how uh, the, the name of the level is like Rules of Anus. And uh, I, I didn't understand when I first first like saw this that it was uh, well, what rules meant. It's like a trick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like a trick and uh, you know, this boss does pull a, a pretty a pretty big trick. This this boss kind of teaches you a couple of things like that some patterns might seem the same but they are not. Like he, he has this uh, he has two boxing glove moves in, the, in his two phases and you know, it also teaches you this. He's dead guys, I win, I win, I win. Yeah, no, the fight isn't over until the knockout appears. It's a, it's a very cool, incredibly cool, like subtle way to, to teach the player that, you know, the knockout has to appear for a boss to, to, to be dead, you know. Like, even if he does a silly animation, he might not, not be dead yet. And uh, yeah, this is the rules. Very fun. This, didn't this game come out like the same year as Hollow Knight? Wasn't that the... Uh, no, I think that maybe that was 2017. 2017 was a very good game for uh, a very good game <laughs> it was a cool game it was a very good year for games i think the plane this is honestly like basically my only experience with uh bullet hell, bullet hell shooters and uh this this one's good <laughs> i like this one 2024 is uh too fast of a game so far <laughs> yeah it's good it's 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 too rushed the pacing isn't uh, good enough what a what a what an incredible projectile! It's just the, the like leather, not leather, like the, the word haha. So it's a very good projectile. They really they really were out of ideas by then. By the like fourth boss. Oh my god! What the hell? Are my, uh, what the hell are the bullets? I just like stopped to think about this. They're like little nerf darts. <laughs> Look at them. They're they're not like pointy or anything. They're uh, they're 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 child safe bullets. But, but that still hurt. I'm, I'm about to say like two separate Sonic things. Sonic thing number one. One of the like background elements in this level looks like the Eggman wrecking ball thing from Sonic 1. And uh, Sonic thing number two. She has uh, shadows like power ring bracelets things that I don't know the name of. Like if you look at her normal form, she has two like, oh, she has two like little, little golden bracelets and it kind of looks like that. Look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, she, she turned into a moon. It, it's, it's just something that these bosses do, you know? They just like, do shit like this. Like, morph into horrible, nightmarish creatures. It's just like uh, other cattle set. It's okay, it's a uh, it's normal occurrence. I wonder if like, Cuphead and Mugman, when they're older, they can like, do this, you know? Like, if someone messes with them, they can turn into a super demon farm. Uh, here's Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> It's, it's just like a, a, a woodpecker, you know, it's not specifically Woody. It's funny, one, one time I like pointed it out to my cousin that Woody uh, Woody Woodpecker's name is like Woody, you know? It's, uh, it's his first name, I guess. Uh, because uh, here here in like Brazil, he's just called Woodpecker. There, there's no like first name. And it was like, and it was like a big revelation to him. He was like, wow, yeah, his name is Woody. That's crazy. <laughs> Right, this game has a P rank, but it's like, actually, it actually stands for pacifist. It's uh, doing these levels without killing anything. That's kind of funny. I, w I wonder why they bothered. I actually just remembered that these levels are actually like, tacked on. They wanted this to be a solely, uh, like, boss rush game. But they were kind of forced, by, I think, by Microsoft to put this in. Because, uh, I don't know, people wouldn't want a solely boss game. Which, uh, you know, people do mostly like the bosses in this game. Like, uh, people prefer the bosses to these running guns. So, you know, they were wrong there. But uh, I kind of like these running guns to showcase this game's uh, controls in a platformer environment instead of just like boss environment. This, this dance that he does is truly like incomprehensible. What, is, what, are, what are these moves? Extreme pollination and total domination. That's a. That's a. That's not a very good one. Look at the drums going crazy. That, that, I think that's actually like a, a Kuika, which is a... I love flexing this knowledge of knowing this instrument's name. It's like a Brazilian instrument that it like goes... Uh, usually when you hear in a song, uh, like a, a little sound that goes like, ooh, 
you know, like a little monkey sound or something. That's actually a quicker, and it's uh, it's kind of like a drum, but it's uh, inverted, so like people pull on the drum instead of uh, like you know hitting it. So it, it does a weird little wind sound like that. I don't know. Isn't there a requirement for using your super? Well, what 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 what? Did you see that that here? Weird. He's the gayest in the land. All right. Ain't that a pip? I think about this line a lot. Ain't that a pip? What does he mean by this? They actually made this animated, right? This wasn't like this at the uh, like original release of the game. It was like static. Hot dog, you have? Look, they talk, but like it's very generic, old timey speak. They don't really have very distinct personalities. I guess it somewhat makes sense that they made them like made Cuphead the annoying one in the show and Mugman the somewhat more normal but also kind of like neat freak character i don't know it i i can't understand the generic as uh choices that they made for the show but i can't like say that i like it <laughs> that i like those choices good timing fellas i just had an upgrade to your airplanes now you can do terrorism yay draw your battles and now my rhymes you failed and perished eight times good they also put him in the show and like gave him a weird role. The way they did the soul plot in the show was weird. It's like, my friend pointed it out, they didn't even add the casino because like casino is a, an adult team and it would like maybe raise the, the, the show's rating. That show does have like one pretty hilarious moment, which is the part that like King Dice is a... He has to go do something against like Cuphead and Mugman and like the, the gate that previously opened to show a bunch of like big ass monsters just shows a, a like King Dice running at 2 frames per second like out, in, out from hell into the world. Off with her head. That animation that Cuphead just did where he like flexes that's also like that was added in a in an update he used to just like adjust his pants and uh, again very like good displays of display of personality with them just from these like little start of level animations you can like see what they're like you know cuphead adjusts his, uh, adjusts his pants to fight and like flexes on the enemy and a uh, mugman is just like a silly little guy he just like uh, he like stretches or something and he like drinks from his own straw which is kind of weird and gross and funny uh, and when they're on the airplane like with uh, with the chalice cookie and they drop it they also like uh, mugman is, is like oops i dropped it and uh, cuphead is just annoyed you know it's, uh, it's very very good for very little uh, time that they have to, to show that kind of stuff off you can actually parry on this thing which is kind of funny that like weird mint that goes around it has a specific name and it's like a girl I don't, I don't remember the name but i saw that on the wiki and i thought it was funny Eesh. yay i just thought the airplane man's nose and mouth was a weird beak in the hub world <laughs> that's that's it's a funny way to interpret it thinking about these levels being like tacked on and, and like not part of the vision makes too much sense because they're, they're kind of weird yeah, that, that is like a, a Magikoopa reference. So weird, a Magikoopa is the name of the species. A Kamek is the individual, like, character from the Yoshi the Island games. It's like, you know, the one that, like, raised Bowser. And uh, and then there's also the, like, weird Mario World show Magikoopa, which is called, like, Weisenheimer or something. <laughs> what, what? Uh, those shows are strange. That... So, so this is a good display of the kind of design that goes on in these levels. I always thought this thing looked like Octodad, from, you know, Octodad. I kind of wanted to play the original student project version of Octodad. It's kind of weird and funny, it's like an old Windows game. It's kind of interesting compared to the, like, released game, like the deadliest catch. Deadliest catch, you know the most dead one <laughs> the, the joke with these like little birds with nails really perplexes me i thought that it was some kind of pun like i don't know nail bird it's some kind of strange slang but uh, I, I don't think so it's just little birds with uh, with uh, nails <laughs> it's the only the, the only way that they can that they can be dangerous this game gets <laughs> i like how morbid this game gets it doesn't uh, it doesn't 
damn it doesn't quite shy away from from you know the kind of shit that old cartoons would do like this finger it, again the, 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 because this is like very cartoon the, the characters can just do stuff for an attack you know he can just turn his head into a, 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 a hand and it shoots three bullets yeah that's fine I, I was actually like once thinking about this I think one of the hardest kind of patterns that you can what, what was that that you can give like a, a, an enemy is a sort of three-way pattern that you have to really think about where you're going to avoid it and uh, you might know where I'm going with this. Primal Aspid. Man, the, the hitbox on his uh, on his feet are kind of weird. Too much feet. Nine, uh, six out of ten. I guess that's too pretty, like, that's like a kind of average. <laughs> Alright, little bitch. Come here. Oh god, his heart isn't in the right place. <laughs> his heart isn't in the right place. Like, literally, it, it isn't. Ooh. Ooh. I did a, like a homer. Ooh. Yay. Look, they're cannibalizing him. Yay. So cool. Why, why did I... Okay. Why did I explode? Give me the charge. I guess. Oh, wow. They just give you this? For free? For me? Alright. Crack shot. I'll probably start using it e eventually. It's a ruler. I guess... Huh. I guess this is the, like showing the whole map of the game. But it's like night. I never thought about that. Maybe it's not exactly the same. Maybe this is an <laughs> maybe this is a different indoors carnival. I don't know. The, the world here doesn't make a lot of sense. Like uh, with oh, the I always think of the rat boss. That it, it's a, it's a normal house, but when you get in, you're like actually tiny, or like the house is tiny. I guess uh, the the mouse guy is actually tiny. I love Benson in the background. The the, the gumbo machine. I finished watching a regular show recently, and uh, I liked it. Even though it kind of it kind of took a dip in the middle seasons when they were like doing the whole like romance stuff, it feels like they were trying to subvert some some tropes of uh, like I don't know teenager drama, but they just like made teenager drama. But when they go to space, it's like it gets weird and kind of fun again. I'm also I've also like basically been uh, off watching uh, like on on and off watching random ass uh, aqua Teen hunger force clips on youtube because there's like lots of uh, clip compilations on youtube for some reason uh, it's like truncated versions of the episodes and uh, even though i watched all of aqua Teen, i still uh still quite quite uh, like we are we watching little bits of it it's a very quotable and silly show i win the aqua team gave me the strength to to do thing lover is best for grim <laughs> yeah sure i believe you so the shot that like hits the enemy it, it deals like a fair amount of damage but if it doesn't hit the enemy it just like it just homes into the enemy anyway with a little bit less damage but it's like neglectable so you basically just do damage constantly as long as you hold the shoot button so you know that's cool yeah, this this part is uh, difficult because uh, that bubble uh, it like s s separates into a bunch, and it's not good. <gasps> I I hesitated. <laughs> Did you hear that? Like that that, that gasp? That was me hesitating. <gasps> oh, that was a bad bad breath, <laughs> bad breathing technique. I really wonder. Everyone like everyone basically has their their own take that's basically the same thing that i'm about to say but uh, what the hell is uh studio mdr gonna do next you know after after uh, doing cuphead after this the great success of this i hope that they don't have to like do something that takes uh so much uh, ex exhaustion has this game you know like doing another whole hand-drawn game maybe that would be a bit much on the on the poor developers but uh I'm not sure. Do, they don't even like have to do another cartoon, cartoon-ish game. They can just do like do, do another good game because uh, besides the visual, ultimately like what sells this game is the visuals. <clears throat> but the gameplay that backs it up is also like solid. I for, I, I I underestimated this boss like coming in. Lover is good for. I guess it, the arc that it does is kind of helpful for uh, for that phase in specific. If I die this time, uh, I'll try it out, so I can finally like put this to rest and eat some dinner. 
I wish I could eat spaghetti. Spaghetti is actually like one of my favorite favorite foods. I'm very basic like that. Okay, let's let's try lobber, okay? Let's see, let's use a lobber for the first time in a lot in our lives. In my life, I'm only one person. What? Is it good for D? Whoa, that actually goes way further than I uh, thought. Wow, that's uh, that's, that's, uh, that's actually good. I didn't know this. Actually, I thought you were you were kidding. In my mind, the 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 like lobber went directly down. For some reason, I didn't know it went in such a such like a, a an arc. Hmm. The the lobber seems like it's uh, going to like activate the, the little things a lot and uh, maybe kill me. But otherwise, seems pretty pretty solid. How does the the, the multiple heads work? Are they all like one brain, uh, different bodies, or like different brains, one body, or? Yay, I win. We can thank you enough. Let's celebrate with a song. Pay attention to the lyrics. It's a, it's about like rage games and, and being angry at games. It's very funny. Ready boys? Key of B flat. It's nice to rest your eyes and maybe go outside. Grab a book and get some air. Why not take a quick break? Tune the radio. Please come back for more. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> yeah, it's a song about like basically the the game is basically saying like touch grass. That's that's great. I really like how casual the devil is in here. They made him very flamboyant in the show. Made him kind of like. I guess him from the Powerpuff Girls and uh, other gay demon-like characters. Well, don't be too sure yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, dice. <laughs> the, 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 the like dice dots are our wig. If those two things try anything, I'll be waiting. Rat Fink? Never watched the Cuphead show? Uh, so I, I I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's a fine show, but it's kind of it's kind of bland a little bit. Especially like if you want to watch the show because you like the game, you might be extra disappointed. You know, oi, oi, oi! I love this guy. Look at him. Yeah, the depressed bee workers here. This is like a, a big office. Very fun. This fight is hell to parry stuff. It's very like all the platforms really getting our way. I started work on my uh, on my first highlight video, and uh, it really made me think about how I uh, made me kind of think about my commentary and just how much of it isn't salvageable for a, a highlights format because uh, I kind of go all over the place and uh, some of the things don't even make sense like in the context of a short little highlight clip so uh, I don't know I don't know how to be funnier uh, I still like mostly included when I like I don't know give some kind of peace of mind and stuff like that because that's mostly my commentary like you know telling stuff well that was easy telling stuff about the about my experience with games and stuff support right imagine being named after like a food that you can become you know like it's so basically if i was named roasted beef you know he's called pork rind it's like dried up pig meat look the rat why is it man he, he's really big i forgot about that he's tiny but he's really big compared to you he's got some bullets there like just uh just you know the cup de decorative and uh, he has a dice which you know indicates that he's a he's a gambler which is why he's in this you know in this pickle to begin with i like the, the how they, they they really like use the most oh stupid they use the all the screen time that they can to give the bosses like their the most characterization that they can oh god oh god yeah this it's this is a very good setup like you you see the cat lurking in the background all the time in the rest of the fight and then in the third phase he shows up and he's evil this is also the same cat that appears in the well it's a similar looking cat to the the one in the dog in the dog fighting level right i die dude yeah look at the revelation oh my god it was him all along he was actually in control that's very weird look at this little pirate i never understood oh i guess I guess those are her eyes. I always saw this as like, you know, the, the black part of her eyes. I, I always thought that was a, a mustache for some reason. Again with the, oh, again with the like references that this game has that wouldn't 
seem like it. I feel like this game's cartoony style makes it so removed from, from I don't know, other video games. Like, you know, I don't know, pixel art looking video games. Because uh, this barrel right here is like a reference to Metal Slug 4 or 5. The one that is bad, the one that is like really recycled sprites and stuff. There's like an, an evil big robot head that uh, that turns you into a zombie, and it has like a, a claw that keeps falling in the, like floating above the level, and that's what this barrel is sort of, you know, copying in its uh, pattern. It feels weird when this game references stuff like that. That's so sort of different to it. I didn't even like understand. The... Wow, that was that was great. <laughs> ha ha ha. Good. I like I like when the, the the creature is like incapable of speech, so the the the, the catchphrase at the end is just a noise. But yeah, I was about to say the the projectiles of the third phase boat are also a reference to Metal Slug. It's a Metal Slug tree. The crabs they have like lava bubbles that they spit. If the cat was a robot, then then what was with the mouth we fought? It's like I I take it that the cat is a. The cat is an automaton that's just like lurking in the background looking for you and then like he does a, a trick where he eats the mouse so you think that he's out, out of the picture but he's actually now in control of the the, the cat you know directly that that cat is also uh, like a reference to some batman game on the genesis it's like a big clockwork cat again a lot of this game is uh, is references that that seem unexpected it's also it's also extra fucked up that the mice in the like w Werner fight are like you know they're they're like prisoner of prisoner of war rats you know at first you think oh the cat ate those those like mice you know it's a cat it was it again it's like it's it's a cat it eats mice but uh, then you think about it like the rat actually killed other rat and like put them trapped inside his you know robot cat that that it makes it just a little bit more morbid and i like that oh yeah this you can actually go up like get on top of the the laser and parry it which is not advisable it's you know plain harder to do oh yeah wait yay this little like uvula is uh, is alive i i really like how like Calamaria is straight up evil. You know, she's a siren. She's a mermaid. Well, I guess siren is more accurate. Mermaid usually... You usually think of the friendly little mermaid, but uh, no, she's like... She's evil. She's the type of siren that, like, calls for sailors and then, like, kills them. Oh, we're here already. I saw, I saw a, cool, a, cool, yeah, a cool trick in this fight. Isn't it that, like, yeah, this, this is the cool trick. But uh, the, the eels don't let you do that trick very often. I really like that the like snakes go through the back of her head and then like pull her eyes out and that's what makes the the beam that's that's a cool animation very good there's also of course the very disturbing fact that like her hair is uh, a dead octopus so like if you really think about it she should be bald <laughs> this is like just a wig but i don't know maybe there's something like under there or maybe she was born of the octopus in there it's like a a, a conjoined twin kind of thing the octopus is biting onto her head with its beak. Yeah, it's it's like a head crab. I once saw someone like bring up a pretty good point. They like designs in this game are so on point. They they even like replicate that sort of old cartoon phenomenon where like the men always look very silly and like very like cartoony shapes. Like you know, a, 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 like a fat dude would be would be just like a big circle, or a buff dude would be just like all torso and no legs. But the women in old cartoons are are always, are always like a little built, like actual women. You know, they're always like a little more realistic, I guess. Even though they still have like big heads, like Betty Boop or something. This face is weird. Isn't there? Well, isn't there also uh, something that you can do about the like other beam that she does in this face? You know, this like. Skull, skull beam thing. No, 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 the car, the car, the car. Oh, the car doesn't hit you. I, I think I was just like very, very lucky and for, uh, fortunate out of the way. Wow, this is going great. Look at this olive oil creature. I guess, I guess uh, much like olive oil, she's like kind of an exception to the thing that I just talked about. Like, you know, women characters in old cartoons. She's very like cartoonishly slim. Whoa! I didn't, I didn't expect that she should do that. I thought she was going like to, to the face too. 
Why is, there, why is there so many human bosses in this world? I never thought about that. A lot of them are human, I guess. You know, Dr. Call and uh, Briny Beard. Both, both are like piloting a second creature. It's a city. Yeah, it's the most like urban area of the game. The other ones are like an amusement, uh, amusement, um, yeah, amusement park and just like a little, you know, a little forest village. Yes, Bestos is like really, it's like super poison. I love describing things as like super something, you know, like super poison or like super, super dead, super jail. I actually, <laughs> super jail is a, a big anomaly in, in like media because uh, it seems bad. It seems like just violent nonsense v uh, show. Well, I, I hit, I took that one. Uh, it seems like just violent nonsense and like unfunny, but it's actually like an oddly charming show and like all incredibly funny like incredibly in the sense like it's impressive that uh that something like that can be so you know like actually funny the like the like sensor episode is like uh, strangely heartfelt junkyard jive look at the wording dr call's robot not dr call i really like the vocalizations that the the robot has it has a very silly voice Wah, wah, wah. So again, this is a fun idea of like building uh, your own, like basically bu building your own demise here. You know, the, the like parts you make, uh, the parts you break, uh, make new patterns that are somehow worse, and there are like some objective, objectively terrible combinations that you can do. Whoa, he's Eggman. He literally is. Look, it's a chaos emerald. <laughs> Dr. Cow's robot is the actual uh, s name of the scientist. You know, I think I just realized the joke. It's a uh, it's a joke with Frankenstein's monster, isn't it? Like you know, when people say uh, Frankenstein isn't the name of the monster, it's like the name of the creator or whatever. I think that's the like oh, that's the intended thing here. Die, please now. Die right now. Yay! Sorry. Yay! Frankenstein is the monster. Th that's gaslighting. The Iron Giant has seen better days. I love the Iron Giant. I watched it way like late uh, And like I always saw people praising it as like one of the coolest movies like one of the coolest of those old uh, Animated movies and uh, it really is very cool. I guess it's not that old. It's like 2000 or something but uh, It's also like set in the 1960s or something look Dr. Cow's robot. You're you're taking the robot's soul. The robot went to the casino and like gambled his soul away. Not the the not the scientist. That's very funny. This is a very cool set piece for a boss. I love like spooky stuff, and uh, this boss is very, it's a, it's very very spooky. It's like a whole train of, of evil like creatures, evil undead creatures. Those things, these things like eluded me for the longest time. I generally did not understand what they were. They're, oh, they're meant to be pistons of like the train, but at the same time they're also like lollipops. It's weird. I write Grim from Grim Adventures of Billy and and, and Menderson. Look, double, double super. Ooh, that was nice. And now we 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 thingy. Now we crack shot. This song is also great. I love the like. It starts out with a train sound. Uh, you know, like. Uh, the, 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 the locomotive horn, whatever. Oh, Jesus, cr Jesus, criminy be. Ow. <laughs> He's like a little scared dog. Phantom Express. <laughs> we got the soul of the entire train. And uh, look, we're now in the wrong side of the tracks, like, like the story said. Well, looky here, you actually pulled it off, but you made me lose a bet. And for that, you ain't seen the boss just yet. We're gonna play a little game first. I don't like those fingers. Gonna do the DLC? Yep, I have it. Ooh. Look at him. He, he has so much, like, style. Look at him. He's so, like, snazzy. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, sure, I wanted to do that. Oh, no. Vord. There's, there's big ch chattering. I guess chattering is, like, bone noises. There's big, like, talking and chatting in the house below. Yeah, the, the backgrounds in this area are very nice. They're very... They, they feel kind of like... What's the, like, Pinocchio evil island of fucked up desires or whatever? Uh, it, it's very, like, hellish. It really shows how this is, like, a twisted hell place. None of the gamblers in the backgrounds are, like, 
even remotely similar to you know the normal little characters they're just, they're just like skeletons and demons and they all look realistic it makes it feel very foreboding and weird the way that they did the the final phase of this with miss chalice is also inter interesting which is like the pink cards are emitting little hearts you know and uh, she can dash into those hearts so she doesn't have to you know fall on them oh look this is a it's one of my like favorite animations in this game so gross i like that design mangosteen yes uh, and I saw some people like not even realize that the, what was happening in that uh, animation, you know, with the, the like pink cards is that they're emitting hearts, you know, didn't even realize the little hearts. Oops, oops. I hate you, King Dice, so much. All right, let's just uh, roll perfect here. Oops. God damn it. Mangosteen, my love. Oops. The, these are like this this the deceptively hard and they only get easier as you like break the others i love how like some most of them are teamed around some kind of sin like you know here is a i guess it's not exactly a sin to smoke it's just like you know general kind of uh reprehensible activity going on in this casino you know you know like smoking and just like gambling and then playing and like dangerous go stuff going on and look, the background is like a twisted painting. So cool. Alright, look. Yeah, he's he, like King Dice personally put him out. That's that's kind of funny. I think they were like a background character in the show, which is weird. What a, I guess they do have background character energy. But I like this like evil domino dimension. Maybe it's because, you know, I used to play dominoes. That's my attachment. Wow, that... Mm. I'm, I'm good at rolling ones. Technically, like, there is cer certain advantage to, you know, doing all of the, the, the mini-bosses. Because uh, if you, like, start over, then you have uh, less spaces to, like, you know, screw you over, I guess. Roll one next time for funsies? Nope. Oh my god, you're right. If I roll one, I do the monkey. Oh, please, please, King Dice. Spare me of this madness. Does it like a tree send you one back? I think you actually need a perfect two for this. Oh boy. Oof! Look, it's all safe. I'm such a good gamer. See, it was all like 5D chess thinking. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm such a good gambler. <laughs> Alright, now roll a one like the idiot that you are. Look, I'm gonna do it with a one. My, my manufactured move. Alright, that's fine. This is a pretty cool, like, one-phase boss fight, actually. And uh, it's it's it, like, reuses the King Dice team, which is fun. I, wow, that was uh, an extra, like, pattern, huh? The, like, the thing that he just did of, uh, like, yeah, having to dash into it? I don't remember that. And I just, like, parried on my own uh, turret. That's fun. Yeah! Look, his hands are, like, suffering. Very fun. That was, uh, that was, that wasn't too bad. Weirdest, like, King Dice run that I've had, but uh, kind of fun. Not, like, time efficient, I guess. Well, 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 look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey King Dice, but I see you've got my soul contracts. Has agreed, hand him over, and join my team. Should I join him, guys? Is he good? Should I? I can I kind of wish King Dice was a real boss instead of a mini- instead of mini-bosses. I think it fits. He's kind of a coward, you know? I think that- that's cool. Welching on me just like the others, huh? I'll teach you for backing out of a deal. Have at you. Yeah, that's so cool. It's the one time that, like, the, the, the cup boys are scared for real. And uh, this fight is difficult. Some people kind of don't like this fight, feel, like, say that if it feels kind of anticlimactic. I kind of, I kind of like it somewhat. I think it fits. I think a big part of it is actually the music, because uh, they do the, like, the, the godly thing, and uh, the music, like, reuses a lot of the other level teams in small little portions, you know? the so-called late motifs and uh, it's very good it's weird like i think like in none of the like actual game models of his he has like a, a devil tail that's only seen in the uh, in promotional stuff i think kind of remember something like that oh my god guys oh my god the fire guys the fire oh oops does it actually hurt you feel no you can't look i'm just getting a little heat <laughs> the, the fact that he like jumps out of his skin is cool Whoa! 
I like the like animation of the hands, you know, the hand thing that he does. That's like a, a, a popular, uh, unused thing from this game. Uh, I think that like what's going on here is that the, he has an unused second phase, which is the secret boss of the DLC. He was meant to do that, you know. You are meant to fall in the hole and then like you see his skeleton and... Uh, oops. And like you... Uh, oh look, that, that's so cool. It's, uh, it's, what he's, uh, it's what they like sing in the title screen. He gets their heads. Anyone who opposes me will be, will be destroyed. Kind of generic phrase though. Maybe he should have like said something about heads. Whatever. But uh, yeah, that a new phase with the like uh, angel and the devil. That's what the like second phase of this fight was, I think. You know, uh, you fall in the hole after he jumps out of his skin, and he's still a skeleton, and you're like on his hands, and uh, you have to to dodge this the angel and the devil. And apparently there was uh, not the sprites, but the like behavior and the programming for that phase was still like in the game. You know, before the DLC was uh, uh, actually gave it, you know, a, a full place within the game. I I really kind of I like and I hate. I I like that I hate the fact that the in the second phase the little like demons are his pimples. That's very disgusting. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna like cry? Satan may cry. Can you do? Can you like? Can we move along? Mm. I don't actually remember what's the trick. Oh God! Here we are. Oh Jesus! Jesus boy! Can I? Oh my God! Look at this gamer! Wow, that was awesome. And yeah, he's that game one. Why would you tell me this? I thought it was sweat. No, he, he's like producing little like s s imps from his uh from his pores. Very gross. That was awesome. That was very fun use of quick shot. The brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, devil. Cuphead left. But we're not just done yet. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody. Cuphead said. The boy set off for home at top speed. Come on, last one there is a leaky cup. <laughs> the other kettle was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear for Cuphead and Mugman. Hip hip hooray! Look, it's everyone. And you can like kinda- Oh my god, Ver Ver Werner man is a uh, big. Look at him. He's like, he's the size of the other one. So that is like a gigantic house. And uh, the show isn't canon on him being tiny, I guess. An all-day celebration began. The brothers promised to never wander into trouble again. And they didn't. Until next time, of course. But that is another story. The whole game took more than 40, for, uh, 24 hours. I forget about that. The devil says that, like, they have to do this before midnight, right? Oh my god, guys. I genuinely thought that was gonna turn into the Yeek team. <laughs> you know that, that game, Y2K? But no, it's a, it's actually Captain Brinybeard's team, huh? Why? Why would it be Captain Brinybeard's team? He's not important to the, like... He's not a... Whatever. Made of unity. You wouldn't tell. <laughs> yes, there is. Or is there? <laughs> I like how that's, like, the real, it's like, King Dice voice. I, at least I hope so. Alright, so should I uh, should I do the DLC? 